Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the ReStore in Brantford, Ontario. Shine like a diamond. This is a revisit. Um, I was actually hoping to find something in particular, but I wasn't successful. Uh, they don't generally have clothing, at least not a large amount of it. Nice looking uh, little piece of furniture. White could be a problem for some folks. Pets and children tend to cause them to get soiled more quickly. This, some ports haven't really changed, but all the furniture has pretty well been changed out since the last time we were here. Along with uh, changing some, the amount of furniture they have, they seem to have a bit more of it. The uh, a number of appliances at this location is not as vast as some of the other locations have. Um, they have a lot of things. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others I visit a variety of antique, vintage and thrift shops within southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. As I was saying earlier, the the uh, each store is different. It has to do with what they had donated and what they have used in projects. When they do a build, they will draw on some of the materials in here, and it's only what is surplus to what they immediately need that they place f up for sale in the restore. Sometimes it's pretty pretty much anything you can think of. Some of the big box uh, hardware lumber stores send material over and in some cases they're just clearing out last pieces of uh, material that they've had. Don't quite understand why this uh, trailer receiver was in there. I looked inside this cardboard box, I found uh, an older style distributor cap and one of the towers is missing. Even if it's cracked, it's useless. Missing a totally? No, no, it's just, it's just a piece of garbage, unfortunately for them. Whoever donated should have just tossed it without even bringing it here. They had other uh, uh, bits for uh, trailering as well. Not a lot, just a little bit. There's a ball for a trailer. And sometimes I don't even know what it is. Sometimes I don't want to know what it is, but that's okay. Somebody probably will want it at some point. A bit of a selection of golf clubs. I think they were individually priced. I don't think they were sold as sets. And that was it. There was also a sump pump. Some places do need that. It helps them keep their basements dry in some form or another. The lumber. Interesting selection of lumber. And they don't have a set price on them. You always have to ask one of the folks who is volunteering or working there. Whenever you do plumbing, you always have a, a need for a bunch of these uh, plumbing, plumbing fittings as well. Hopefully they had the ones that they needed for their project. These would be surplus. And air ducts pieces for that. There's a mixing box of some sort. And a uh, hmm, chair for a shower. No, no, it was a slide chair, but in any case, there's a bunch of uh, mop handles. Not usually residential, they're usually those were commercial. 
and we're into the lighting a bit again and it's the this and that some light bulbs some of them were oddballs that's why they ended up here uh, these plates were sure they had the color but they also had a texture so you could stucco onto them or something or paint it to look paint it to match the rest of the wall that is stuccoed I'm not sure which it's a bit of an oddball that's all I'm gonna say and some light bulbs I uh, didn't think they were much of a deal I think I found some of these bowl lights spot lights on sale for what for less than what they're offering but that, that is what it is you never really know what you're going to find here but it's primarily hardware there are, we will be going to the other parts later to see some more of the furniture a little bit of uh, and i do mean a very little bit of clothing did get looked at I think most folks are using decor instead of those toggle switches nowadays it's a big rectangular hole there's the mop handles again masks packs of masks fluorescent lights less demand for those than in the past folks have been gradually transitioning to leds here's some boards again poplar ash and then there was a sign that said ask ask staff for pricing Maybe it was regarding the smaller ones. A couple of tubs even. And that's their work area. It's not part of the store per se. These are items that were chosen by some of the folks who are doing their build. And things that aren't being brought onto the floor quite yet. There was a lot of the same kind of chair, either from a hotel or a meeting meeting space, or possibly a restaurant meeting room. Uh, air powered nailer. Depends on how well it was maintained. They will wear out, especially if they're using a lot of nails through it. And we're back to the sinks. and that's about that sometimes you go backwards in an aisle that you've already been through you see different things there's a couple of appliances like a washers and dryers ah yes this was an area i didn't get to because it's, it's in a kind of a strange tucked in place but no i was particularly actually looking for a 120 volt motor something like a f one that's used on a uh, furnace chest freezer except it opens the front door so it's a just a bar size freezer and then the oddball chairs some of them look, look like they might match the others and in the reverse review, ah, yes, a full fridge, um, kind of looks like it wasn't used, but like as it was in brand new, still had all the uh, bits of added uh, tape protectors. And at this point, we're heading back out into the other part of the store. There's a little bit of the hardware as in tools 
over here. And a bunch of uh, batteries for tools. I always can get concerned about those depending on how well they're charged and what manner they were stored. In. Because in, improper storing at the wrong uh, charge level can also destroy them. Some folks do repair them, but it requires some skill in ordering up batteries or cells for the battery and then you reassemble it. Or you take a bunch of different batteries and take them apart for individual cells. So folks do all kinds of stuff. At that point, the, vol the labor involved probably exceeds the cost of doing that. And that's the entrance ju just up ahead. Yes, even in the lunchbox. Socket set of sorts. I didn't think it was too good a deal. Stuff for doing painting, plastering. The yeah, unusual uh, shopping cart. But the Magpie Eye caught this. Nice globe. Picked it up. Eventually. So you can see it where it's not uh, in the video portion. It's, I took a still of it. Personally, I like globes. These are, uh, well, a mis mishmash of stuff. I think this would be best used as a decorative piece, this crib. There's a bit of jewelry. Here's some clothing. I think I determined that these were women's. I had to find the tag and, and the price for it. More of the furniture. Some of the artwork and mirrors. All kinds of bits and pieces that people donate. So it's not just hardware and building materials. So we got some recorded media. Lampshades of sorts. Shine like a diamond. You're the one in this world. And with that, I'd like you to consider giving us a thumbs up. Dress like you're already famous. Well, Hawaiian shirt will help with that, I think. Oh, the back aisle of the, the front part of the store. Some interesting pieces of art. Some bits of furniture. You see some gaps. Uh, they, they could probably use some more furniture. Must have sold some. And these vignettes, they help. The Alfred Sung, uh, Westwood Avenue, chose to pick this up. It just looks nice. Well, hope you enjoyed watching. Appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and a mark on the bell for notifications. And a subscription would be appreciated as well. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.